Amen. Happy Sunday to every one of you. My dear friends, Jesus Christ is Lord. God sent us here to preach to you about Jesus Christ. Hoping that some of you today will give your life to God. Amen. The message is choices in life. That's right. Choices in life. Pray. Life is full of choices. And the choice you make today, we decide and we determine your destiny. As Christians, we must learn to make wise choices. The choices of life and death is in your hands. No one can make you to decide for yourself. Your lifestyle and earth determines where you spend eternity when you die. Listen carefully. Many people have echoed that the same cry. If only I had known, I would have done things differently than I did. Our choices have consequences that can affect not only our life, but also the lives of those around us. Our choices matters. I repeat, our choices matters. Our choices can make our life different. And the life of those around us, if we chose not to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, affect your family members as a parent, you affect your children. So you see, if we choose, it doesn't matter what we decide, when we reject Jesus Christ, God has given us a choice, we are free with today. When people decide to accept Jesus as their Savior, they come to a point in their lives where they can be ready to put their trust in God. It's not themselves. Now listen, God was says today, I give you a choice between life and death, between prosperity and disaster. Today, I give you the choice between life and death between blessings and curses. Now I call heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. All that you will choose life. God is telling you to choose life. To choose life is to choose Jesus Christ. When you have no Jesus in you, you have no life, my dear friend. Because when you die, you will not make it to heaven. Amen? So that you can decide and your descendants may live. You can make this choice by loving the Lord your God and obeying Him and committing yourself family to Him. This is the key to life. That's Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15. And Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 to 26. The choice of life and death is in your hands. God cannot, even Satan, cannot decide for you. Wherever you end up in destiny determines where you spend your eternity. Maybe be displaced and influenced by fiscal and spiritual realms. But my dear friend, ultimately the choice is yours to make. It is your business to shoot Jesus as a savior or to shoot the devil because without choosing Jesus, you are going to shoot the devil. You have a choice to make today. The message is loud and clear. Choices in life. Every one of us live. Prosper. Be blessed. To obtain all those things depends on the choice you make. Choose to live by loving God and obeying Him. Accepting Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And be the doer of the Word of God. Anything less than this is choosing the path to death, disaster, and causes. In Proverbs chapter 11, verse 19, says plainly, Godly people will find life. Do you not? Godly people will find life, and evil people will find death. Joshua made the right choice. In Joshua 24, verse 15, he said, as for me 
and my house, we will serve the Lord. So don't be on face. Like the children of Israel, who refused to stand for the Lord, at the Saint Man, at the Saint Anna, you, my dear friend, have a choice to make today. Until they saw the power of God, they needed to scream and to shout, Lord, do not consume us, we are afraid. Now let the servant speak to us. By making the right choice is to serve God and committing yourself family to Him. This is the key to eternal life with us. Jesus said in John chapter 5, verse 27, verse 24, I tell you the truth. Those who listen to my message, believe in God, who sent me, have eternal life. And that's what tells you that Jesus Christ is God. Amen. Only God can give eternal life. And Jesus Christ gives eternal life. He says they will never be condemned for their sins. Do you know that? When you believe in Jesus, your sin will not condemn you because he died on the cross to forgive us our sins. Amen. Free. Amen. But they have already passed from death to life. Do you want to pass from death to life? Give your life to Jesus today. God is speaking to you. I am just a Western Union boy saying the message. And the message is loud and clear. Choices in life should Jesus today for you to live, for you to have eternal life by accepting Jesus Christ today as your Lord and as your Savior. The Bible says life and death is in our tongue. The Bible says if you confess Jesus as your Lord and believe in your heart that God is off from death, you shall be saved. You have a choice to make today. Choose Jesus, not money, not size, not fame, not power, not parties, no one in pressure before God. Only leads to eternal death and destruction. The Bible says, in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of eternal life is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. In Romans chapter 8, verse 6 says, So let your sinful nature control your mind, leads to death. But let the spirit control your mind, leads to life and peace. Choice between life and death is in your hands, my dear friends. Choose wisely. My prayer for you today. All you have to say, Father, I choose life, I choose prosperity, I choose blessing, I choose Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. I reject death, I reject curses, I reject disaster, I reject Satan, and the swords and the pumps. My dear friend, when you confess it with your mouth, believe in your heart, the Bible says you will be saved. For anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall not be put to shame. Amen? God will not disgrace you. God will not put you in disaster because you are giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and he will set you free and will save you. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen.